Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Emma's Lifestyle or if you are new here then I am Emma and a very big welcome to you. Hairs in my eyes, let me move that out of the way. So today I thought we would have a little bit of a chat maybe and I have got a haul as well, a mixed shopping haul. So I've got stuff from Amazon, Zara, Asda, H&M Home, so a mixed bag today. So I thought I'd put it all together and share with you what I bought. So as always, grab your drinks and your snacks, get comfy and if you'd like to see what's in my haul today, please keep watching. So how are you all doing? I hope you are all having a lovely weekend. I'm okay, not so great to be honest. Um, yeah, suffering a little bit with my mental health at the minute. Um, got a lot going off here in the family. Um, yeah, that's not very good. So um, I don't really want to go into it, but um, yeah, so I'm not great. Um, but I am getting up, I am getting ready, and I am get, getting on and doing what I've got to do. Um, and we are actually going to Paris tomorrow. And I haven't done the packing yet. So after I film this vlog, that is my very important job of the day. Um, there won't be a video on Wednesday uh, because we're in Paris and I just can't get my head around filming one in advance because I've just got so much to do. So I do apologise for that. Um, I don't really like missing out videos, but yeah, with what I've got on at the minute, yeah, I just haven't been able to film one. But next Sunday, week today, um, we're only going to Paris Monday to Friday. So next Sunday, I am hoping to upload a Paris vlog. So I want to vlog while we're there. Um, we've got a few things booked in. So I want to vlog the Eiffel Tower, go to Disneyland Paris one day. Uh, we're going on the river cruise, we're going in the Louvre. So I will we'll vlog as much as I can. And hopefully next Sunday, I will have a vlog of Paris for you all. Um, what else have I got to tell you? What else? It's good news. Let's keep it good. Um, oh, my son, I don't know whether you know, but he was auditioning for drama schools and he has got in two that he's auditioned for um, and he's got in his favourite. So that is fantastic. Um, so he has got in Performers College, which is in Essex, and he has also got in Bird, which is in Kent. And then he also got a recall back for Italia Conti, um, but he's not going to go for the recall because he's actually got in on the other two anyway. Um, and then he's got another audition coming up, which I don't know whether he's going to bother going for, for Erdang. I don't know whether he's going to bother going for now because it's not till April and he wants to start getting his houses and stuff sorted out. Um, so I think, yeah, he's going to accept one of the places that he's already got because they are his top two favourites anyway. Um, yeah, so he will be going off in September. I don't know how I'm going to cope. I apologise now in advance because I might be going on about it quite a bit <laughs> as it gets nearer the time because I don't know what I'm going to do without him. So we will be moving out and going to find digs um, where the drama school is. So yeah, he is doing a BA honours degree in musical theatre. So I am so, so proud of him. He's done amazingly well uh, because the competition, as you can imagine, to get on a musical theatre course in drama school is really, really tough. So I'm so, so proud of him. So a few of the bits I've got uh, on the uh, haul today are actually for Harvey. So anyway, enough waffle, waffle and I'll get on with the haul. Right, I'll start with Asda. Just got a few bits from Asda. Uh, so the first thing for Harvey's party, he's having two parties. He's having one for his family and one for his friends. And we're going to Paris as well. He's a lucky, lucky boy. Um, so I just bought this pack of 30 party poppers. Just something, you know, a little bit silly. They were two pounds from Asda for the pet. And then these were reduced to 50 pence. So I picked them up just to put in his, uh, with his birthday bits, a jelly pick and mix cup. I think they should have been two pounds, which I probably wouldn't have bothered buying them, but because they were reduced, I thought, oh, I'll get them. And then this next thing was out of the Valentine's range, but obviously it's not Valentine's, uh, for Valentine's, that's been and gone now. But I got it because I just think it's so cute and it was only £3, 
which I just think is fantastic. It's a fairly big teddy bear. I like his red bow and his red love heart on his foot. And I know you can't, I know we always say this when we've got things, but this is so, so fluffy and soft. Really, really feels really nice. Is this bow supposed to be on one side? You're a bit skewed with. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just a soppy old bugger, uh, but I absolutely love this and I thought it was a bargain for £3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a plaque, I think, uh, maybe a love heart plaque that says uh, something on it uh, about Harvey for his birthday for being 18. And I'm going to give him that just as a little birthday gift. So yeah, I could, just couldn't resist it for £3. So that was it from Asda. Let me move my carry bag, is that it? Yeah, it's just receipt in there. Then the next thing I got from Amazon. These are for Harvey. Three books. Um, I might link these below. Um, so if anybody's interested, if anybody has got children going away to university in September, these might be of interest uh, to you. So the first one I got was this book that's called Nosh for Students, a fun student cooking book. So I thought, yeah, he does like cooking and he's quite a good cook, but obviously, you know, he wants to try and he eat, <laughs> can't speak today. He wants to try and eat healthily and cheaply. So I just thought I would buy him that and he could have a look through that. There might be some easy recipes in there, there's a quick shepherd's pie, chicken casserole, sausage and bacon casserole. And maybe with some of the things, he could perhaps book them up at a weekend, uh, you know, do some batch cooking and then, you know, have them in the week when he hasn't got as much time. So that's the first one, Nosh for students. Let me move my coffee. Then I bought him this. I don't know whether it'll be any good or not, but it says student hacks, tips and tricks to make uni life easier. So it tells you over 130 amazing hacks inside. So let's have a look. Oh, it tells you how to do a DIY corkscrew, wardrobe space savers, maximize your brain power, DIY gym with pillar power exercises, or sofa or warm lunges. So it's got all things to do with cooking that you can sort of make things easier, like ch uh, cheap things, really, hacks, as it says. Um, so, yeah, there might be something, um, you know, that it could use in there. It says on the back, it solves your everyday dilemmas from ways to make your student loan stretch further to revision hacks and much, much more. So, yeah, bought in that. And then the last one that I got from Amazon is this Moving Out Guidebook, a simple little guidebook for first-time individuals or who are moving out from home to having their own place. So not just for students, but anybody who is moving out into their own home. It's only a thin book. Uh, there's not a lot in it, to be fair. So um, yeah, it's quite thin. But yeah, I just wanted to buy him a few little books, help him on his way, as it were. Um, so, yeah, they were all from Amazon. I will link them below. Then the next thing, um, I'm so, so chuffed with this. This was from Etsy, and I'm going to put it up at his birthday parties. And it is massive, but you can get it in different sizes for anybody who is interested. Obviously, it doesn't have to be for birthdays. It could be for weddings or anniversaries, whatever. So I got this size. So I got quite a big one. Um, you can choose the colours and you can choose what it says. So we put happy 18th birthday to our superstar son Harvey. And as you can see, you just send them lots of photos. You choose the size and they make this cardboard uh, picture. Choose the colours, choose what you want on it and then they put all the pictures on it like this. Um, it's ideal for putting on an easel if you've got one. We haven't got an easel and I did think I might buy one, but I'm running out of time now to sort everything out, especially with going away to Paris. So I think I'm just going to try and stand it up somewhere. Um, but yeah, so we chose some photos of family holidays and photos of when Harvey and Kyle were little. So yeah, I just think that is absolutely fabulous. And that was through Etsy. 
um, a company through Etsy. Yeah, I love Etsy because they have lots of individual type gifts that you can personalise and things like that. So that is going up uh, at both his parties and um, it's something he can keep as well, isn't it, after. Um, but it's quite big, so I'm not sure about storing it. But that's that. And then I've just got two more things to share with you. The next thing is from H&M Home. I vlogged there the other week, if you saw the vlog. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in looking around H&M Home, um, I did a, a come shop with me there a few videos ago. And I bought this beauty, a vase, as you can see, in beige. Um, they also did it in black, I believe. And I think, has it still got the price on it? Oh, wait, hold on, let's have a look. I haven't got my glasses on again, have I? I think it was £20. Yeah, 19 And I just loved it. I just thought it was something a little bit unusual. Um, I liked the style of it. I liked the colour. It's like this beigey colour. Um, I think we've got some stairs on our uh, stairs. We've got a window on our stairs. I think I'm going to put it in that. I mean, I don't even think you'd have to put flowers in it if you didn't want to. But it's ideal, isn't it, to put some stems in, some pampas grass, whatever. Whatever you want. But I think you could just get away with it and, as an ornament as well. You could do what you want, can't you? But I think it just looks nice just like that without even any flowers in it. So, yeah, that was £20 from H&M Home. I love that. And then one more thing to show you. And it is this gilet. This is for me. It's from Zara. Um, I have got a padded puffer gilet that I got in the sale form. I saw it first um, online. That was reduced from 80 to 40. And I have to say, I have lived in it. I just think gilets are so easy to wear. Because I'm at the age where I'm going through the menopause and I get a bit sweaty betty, I do love a gilet because it's a something, a bit of something, isn't it? To keep you warm, but it's not a massive thick coat. Um, cause then, because then sometimes I get too hot and sweaty. So I love a gilet. So I thought I would buy another one. Again in black, it did come in cream as well, but black's just so easy to wear. It just goes with everything. But this is like a faux leather one. So I'll try it on so you can see it better um, in a minute. Um, but yeah, so I bought this. And I'm going to relegate, is that the right word? <laughs> my other one, uh, I don't know if that's the right word. I'm going to make that my dog walking gilet, I think, instead. Um, and have this as my best one now, because I've absolutely lived in that other one, like I say. So this is from Zara. I bought it in a medium. Now let me tell you the price. I have got a price, have I? I'm sure it was £60. I think it was £59.99. It's got a hood like you, can, like you can see. But let me just whip it on and I'll show you what it looks like on. Yeah. So this is the gilet on. So it's got tassel bits here. And it's got a hood, same as I say. Um, I absolutely love it. Faux leather, quilted, padded. It's got a zip and also poppers. And let me step back, it's got pockets as well, so lovely. And let me step right back so you can see how long it is on me. So yeah, I'm sure I will get loads and loads of wear out of this. Um, yeah, love a gilet. <laughs> So that is everything for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed our little uh, catch up, our little chat, and I hope you have enjoyed my haul as well. Please comment below. I love to read your comments. I love to have a little chat with you all. Maybe um, comment how you're feeling. I'm always, um, you know, wanting to know. I always love to know what you've been up to, what you've been doing. Maybe comment what your favourite thing is out of the haul today. Um, if any of you have got um, children moving away to university in September, how are you feeling about it? Because I'm just going to be know-how. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm so, so pleased for him. Don't get me wrong, because obviously he's over the moon and he's absolutely chuffed to bits. And so am I. But, you know, you know, and it's your first one. And yeah, he's my baby. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're both my babies, no matter how old they are, are they? aren't they? So, yeah. 
I'm just, oh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to be. Um, obviously, when they, you know, when they live quite a way away as well, down near London, you know, won't be able to come home every weekend. It's not just as easy as that, is it? And I know with drama school, it is full on. I know at university, they, you know, they only do like a few, I don't know, few um, lectures a week or whatever. They get quite a lot of spare time. But drama school is full on from like eight to five, Monday to Friday. And then they said even on a Saturday, um, sometimes they have like, if they've got shows to rehearse, if they've got monologues to practice, if they've got choreography to practice, whatever, you know, you can even end up being there six days a week, um, some, some weeks, you know. So sometimes he might only have a Sunday off. So, you know, it's not going to be that easy really for him to come home every weekend. But he's going to come home as much as he can. And we are going to FaceTime lots and lots. And obviously, I will be going down there to see him um, as much as possible. And obviously, us as a family, uh, my, me and my husband and my daughter will be going down there as well as many weekends as we can. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not every weekend now, I think he might, <laughs> yeah, not cramp his style too much, but anyway. So anyway, I'm waffling on again. Um, that is it for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please click like if you have. Please subscribe if you aren't already. It really, really does help me out on my channel. Um, yeah, that would be fab. So I better go and get that packing for Paris done. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.